Okay, so we've got a, a brief interlude on uh, pointwise convergence and uniform convergence. Now, if I hit the Save button now, it will probably offer me the name Interlude On. It's quite good at recognising my handwriting, but it could be interesting. No, what does it think? Intercalation. That's amazing. It's, it's far too clever for its own good, so it's called itself Intercalation. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I will rename it later. It just tries to fit a word it knows to, to the writing, the best fit possible. It obviously didn't think interlude fitted very well. Uh, I probably don't know what that means. I have to look it up in the dictionary afterwards. Is it, the same? it sounds like interpolation, but I think it's something else. Okay, so pointwise convergence. Let's have uh, Fn from 0, 1 goes to R, F going from 0 to R, and 0, 1 to R, and Fn tends to F pointwise. We know what uniform convergence means. It means pointwise on 0, 1 if for all x in 0, 1, f of x tends to f of x as n tends to infinity. Where the convergence may be different speeds at different places. Now, a sequence of continuous functions can converge pointwise to a discontinuous function. Does anyone remember an example of that? x to the n, that's the standard example I usually give. Um, a well-known example. working on naught one okay so let's have a look at y equals x to the n so say f n of x equals x to the n then let's have a look at some of those. Um, and we're working just on the closed interval naught one. So this is uh, y equals f1 of x is equal to x. Here's f squared, roughly speaking. And then you can see what's happening. These functions always start at naught and end up at 1. They get very shallow for the first bit, almost following the axis, but not quite. And at the other end, they get very, very steep, almost following a vertical line, except they're functions, so they can't. But the limit function, the limit function is zero all the way along and then suddenly jumps up, so it doesn't take the value there, put a little circle around that to show it doesn't take that value, it comes up here instead. So this is y equals f of x, and f of 1 equals 1. Um, I didn't label my axes. Let's see if I can do it. 
Do a bit of circle there. Ah, in grey. The function f suddenly jumps up at the end. Now you can prove that these functions converge pointwise to this function. Uh, they don't converge to it uniformly. How do you know they don't converge to f uniformly? I can't quite hear. Um, how would we know? So, uh, so there are actually lots of different solutions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm, so most of the time, the function of the conversion to zero, they converge to one at the end. But the, my question is. Um, F, we do know that fn tends to f pointwise. So it's easy to check. You can fill in the details. That fn tends to f pointwise. on naught one where f of x is naught if x is in the half open interval naught up to one and one if x equals one. So we do know they converge to that function pointwise and the question is how do we know that that convergence is not uniform? And you said they're converging to zero in some places and one in this other place, which is true. Hmm? But what depends on the value of x? The rate of convergence. OK, so that's right. Um, the closer x is to one, the slower the convergence is to zero, in some sense. It would be nice to formalize this in some way, though, to sort of uh, to see what, what's the quickest way to, to check this, there's in the section I've asked you to look at, the screencast, there is a discussion of function balls, and you can check a function ball around this limit function and see that none of these functions that are appro approximating it actually get into the relevant function ball, um, which prevents the convergence being uniform. Or you can quote a result we've recently proved. So what result have we recently proved that you could now quote straight away to say the convergence can't be uniform here? How about uh, limit function not being continuous? Yeah. The limit function is discontinuous. Um, the functions approximating it are continuous. A uniform limit of continuous functions must be continuous, but this function is not continuous, so it can't be a uniform limit. So that's the quick, that's the quick proof quoting a theorem, but on the other hand, it is well worth going back and, and thinking about it and convincing yourself that the convergence really isn't uniform directly from the definitions as well. So, so yes, that's a slick proof. Um, clearly, f is discontinuous. And all of the fn's are clearly continuous. So we know the convergence cannot be uniform here. So since uniform limits <coughs> continuous functions are continuous, The convergence can't be uniform here. However, I still think it's a good idea to go back and look at the uh, checking directly from the definitions, yes? Some, some point 
Okay, so... Yes, exactly. You can use the intermediate value theorem to show that, um, in fact, the uniform, in fact, the uniform, if you do the uniform norm of the difference, you can prove that the uniform norm of the difference in the functions from Fn to F, you have to work with bounded functions here, you can do that though. Um, if you use the uniform norm on the bounded functions, you can see that the uniform norm of the difference is always probably exactly one um, if you go for the supremum. I think that for each of the functions, the uniform norm of the difference is exactly one. Um, and that will show that the uniform norm doesn't tend to zero. Okay, so that will do it using the uniform norm defined on all bounded functions. And that's quite a good approach. Or you can go back to the, for all epsilon greater than naught definition, um, in which case you only need, there exists an epsilon greater than naught that doesn't work. You only need to find one bad epsilon. And uh, if you're going for strictly less than epsilon, then epsilon equals one is already bad enough. If you're going for, l if you were using the less than or equal epsilon definition, you should probably take an epsilon that's less than one in order to ensure it's bad, like a half. And uh, if you take uh, epsilon equal the third, um, you get the nice feature when you're working with function balls that there's no continuous functions at all in the function ball center. Uh, if you look at the function ball radius a third centered on the limit function, there are no continuous functions in there at all. Um, so that's, some, that's, uh, that's my approach from the second years. Anyway, I think we should stop there because we're out of time. I shall have to go and look up intercalation. <laughs>